Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about Martins of Air. Okay, so Martins of Air are not often used in basic statistics. They are, they're more often used in uh, political surveys. And it, it basically is a combination of uh, the C value and uh, the standard error, which itself is a combination of the standard deviation and the sample size. Okay, so the margin of error is a value that just more directly tells you the uncertainty in an estimate. So, I actually have this long description of it, but really all we need is this part right here. So you, you're gonna have an estimate, and then the margin of error is not plus or minus that. It normally comes in intervals are calculated as the the actual value x bar or the proportion p plus or minus that t score, assuming the sample size is large enough. If not, it's a t score. That would be a value slightly higher than 1.96 times the standard error, which is this piece right here, the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. The, this whole thing makes up that plus or minus on the x bar or proportion. So you just add and subtract that, and then you have your confidence interval. If it's uh, 1.96, that's a 95% competence level. And you would certainly be told that it's a 95% competence level. If not, they'd have to tell you 99% or 90%. Okay, so... This is not all that dissimilar to a competence interval, except in, instead of giving you the confidence of already giving you the margin of error for you to look at yourself. It's not plus or minus that x bar. So, yes, in, like for example, in, in survey statistics, you might hear something like 60% of respondents support a new policy with a margin of error of 4%. So, that 4% right there is basically the, this value right here. With the appropriate proportion translation. So the actual percentage of people in the population support the policy is likely between 56, 60% minus 4, and 64, 60% plus 4. And that, that represents the sampling area. And of course, if there's a frequent statistic, our real interpretation is a more awkward. If they repeated this process many times, getting independent samples from the population, 95% of those uh, samples would capture the true population parameter. But for most people, this is a fine interpretation. Okay. So yeah, so the margin of error is another way to represent uncertainty in an estimate. So you get that point value of 60% plus or minus some level of uncertainty. And it's basically a different presentation of a confidence interval. Then instead of saying it's between 56 and 64%, we're saying it's 60 plus or minus 4. That's the margin of error. Okay. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, higher levels of confidence have wider margin of error, and then lower have smaller margin of error. And, yeah, that, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.